So first, you need to learn how to connect the braid, okay, to the leader line. Okay, I'm using the Pioneer Salt Water 40 pound leader, very nice soft line. Usually, you take about 2 meters so that you can have at least 2 winds into your bait caster. Uh, before it reaches the rod tip. So 2 meters of line should be just nice. Okay. In local waters, I don't need to tie a very complex knot. I'll just tie what's known as the improved Albright knot, which I find is good enough for local fish. Okay, so what you do is, of course, for the mono, you make a small little loop at the end. Okay, and then you put your line through. Remember which direction your line came through. All right, with maybe about fifteen centimeters. Okay, what you do is you wind up the line eight times, very neatly. Okay, and then. Holding it down with your other finger, okay, you can see it's wound very neatly. You wind another eight times back down the line over the eight times that you wound up. So eight times down. Okay, this is a, the important part. Okay, you notice that the line went through the loop through the top. So you must come out the exact same way, okay, that it went in okay so that it will look like this okay and then the idea now is to make sure the line is a bit moist so moisten the knot a little bit okay and you've got to pull all of it evenly okay sometimes the help of a uh, pliers okay would be very good or even a third hand okay what you can see now the knot is very nicely uh, okay put in it's a friction knot right very nice okay and uh, yeah so what I do at the end I do a few half features maybe about two half features so that it winds even more smoothly onto the wheel so remember to just do a few half features up the braided line okay so I do about two should be enough and this one you can trim it really close to the line okay so what you do is you take a very sharp cutter okay and trim it very close Okay, and for the other end, you can trim this really close to. Okay, just don't cut the braided line. Okay. So this knot is a very powerful knot, the improved all bright knot. Alright, so now how do you connect the madai? Don't use a swivel, okay? It's not necessary because you're using a big casting reel which eliminates line spin already. Okay, so this allows you to connect the Madai directly. To tie the improved uh, trilling knot or the double clinch knot, you insert your leader line two times through to form a little circle. Right? That circle is very important. Okay, use your left hand then to keep some pressure so that there's still a circle. Wind the tag end three times up the mono line. Okay. So I think Okay, three times should be enough. Okay, and then insert the tag end into that double loop that you just created and pull all ends evenly. Okay, so what you have now is the pull improved it. never mind. It's the improved uh trilin knot or otherwise known as the double clinch knot. Okay. So this is a very powerful knot. I'm receiving lots of messages right now, so you'll hear a lot of bubble sounds. Anyway, we are good to go. Let's go fishing. On, sir. It's
how I rig up my Madai this is my Madai, I got two hooks so uh, you can see I put a prawn so I sweeten the deal the prawn, so we call this Ma Prawn Technique let's go man check, ok so this is my Ma Prawn ok and uh, we use a Madai for the very nice big caster it's the opposite black gold big caster Line down to the bottom, and you know, when you are fishing for grouper, sometimes you gotta put a bit of tighter drag setting. So, once you hit the bottom, the idea is to oh, you're getting a bite. Okay, the idea is to slowly put the mud eye, see it's at the bottom now, lift it up a little bit, and you know, so you just put the mud eye. A bit of open, sometimes you can stay for a while, sometimes you can work it. Sometimes, you can break open, slowly get down. And they like to bite when you are moving down. So this big movement, and you are moving down slowly, and sometimes they hit the bait on that movement. Okay, this one was really hard to hook. Came back like four or five times. Really dying to get caught. So I obliged him. Let's see what we get. Alright, so this is a big caster. Yeah, so we'll take a look at the pen and this rock. Okay, it's coming up. That's super. Net. Oh, nice. Okay. Alright. Come on, what do you say? What do you say? Oh, sir! Oh, I poked my own foot. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> Come on, man. Alright, man. See, I poked my own foot. First blood. Alright, first blood, Rambo. Okay, let's go get some more. This is the first one. We need more. Uh. Glow in the dark. Madai by Pioneer. Usa. Okay, now you can see. Eh? Jason saw me land a fish on Madai. See what he's doing now. Straight away, he's taking out one of my Pioneer glow in the dark Madai. Huh? So, maybe this is the more effective method for the day, right? He was trying to handle his fish, and then his, just, his rod that I was holding for him just went zoom. Okay, let's take a look. Take a oh, 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 whoa, that's a beauty. Whoa, let's take a look, guys. Uh. Wow, bring out the whole fish. Ah, they're coming thick and fast. Okay, all right. So as he was handling his fish, he had another. Wow, check this out. Pioneer glow in the dark. Madai. Okay, what do you say, man? It's beautiful. Okay, here you can see Jason with his Madai. He used, he's using the last of the Madai. Better not lose this Madai. The net put near him. Okay. So, how do you feel about fishing in Singapore, man? Good. Good. That looks like one of those again. I saw the bite man, I saw that bite coming. Oh. oh. Okay, bring it in. Let's put the net near here. Oh, lift up, lift up. Lift up net. Alright. See, caught on the mud eye from Pioneer. Okay. Very good man. What do you say? 